Hi, in this video, let's see how we can easily consume a SOAP API using our systems. Now in this case, I need some APIs to consume. Uh, I found a good resource from Postman. Uh, they offer some of these APIs, SOAP APIs, which I can use. So how to use it is basically, I'll copy the URL. I'll go to my service studio. This is where I have a reactive web application with one module in it. That's not very important. What I'm going to do next is switch to logic tab. This is where we have under integrations connectors for SOAP and REST. SOAP is the one. Uh, right click and consume. You can paste the URL that I just copied from Postman and consume. What the platform then does is it reads the documentation of this API. Now in this case, there are two versions of it that exist. I can choose the one that is more relevant to me. And thereafter, it also gives me a list of all the functions which are available there. Number to words, number to dollars, and there. That, that's how it is. So let me use number to words here. I can add both of them, not an issue. But uh, once I've added them, I can see the function here with the input and output parameters listed. Now to test it out, what we're going to do is quickly, let's build a screen. The name doesn't matter, okay, the defaults. And on this screen, right, I'm going to have a parameter, local parameter called number. That's the one I'm going to tie up with a text box, which is an input here. This is type to number. And then we'll use a button to convert it to words, convert to words, and then uh, we can display this word in a field. So that's that be another variable which I can display here, maybe as an expression, and expression will be attached to the variable. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is uh, uh, write the logic for what happens when somebody clicks on the button. And this is where we are going to call the API, number two words. And the input will be the number, which is tied to text box, if you remember. And from this API, we'll get an output, which we are going to assign to the variable, the one that is assigned to the expression. Something like this. Looks okay. Let's publish the application and check out the results. Almost ready. We we'll launch the application. Okay, let's give a number, small number to just test it out. Ah, okay. A bigger number, also okay. 